Hi guys, my name is Joey, and today we will be talking about the earth metal called manganese. What is manganese? Manganese is an earth metal that is most commonly found in South Africa, Ukraine, and Australia. Manganese is found naturally as the ores pyrolusite, manganite, and hausmanite. Manganese is the 25th element of the periodic table, with 25 electrons, 25 protons, and 30 neutrons. It is a pinkish grey, brittle metal that has a high boiling point of 1247 degrees, but easily oxidizes, which means rusts. It will also dissolve in dilute acids and acts, and as pure manganese powder, it will burn in oxygen. Manganese is not a naturally free element and will be found in minerals with iron. Manganese is most commonly found in oxide minerals such as pyrolusite. Pyrolusite is mainly manganese dioxide or MnO2. This chemical includes a manganese atom combined with two oxygen atoms, the oxygen being the reason for it being an oxide metal. The carbon used to smelt pyrolusite in furnaces combines with the oxygen atoms in manganese oxide which leaves it eventually as the base metal manganese during the smelting process. How do we mine manganese you ask? Well, that is a good question, but first we need to know what minerals and ores are. Minerals are any inorganic solids with a high crystalline structure with a definite chemical formula. They often contain metal, and only when they have high enough metal slash valuable rock, they are classified as ores. So, all ores are minerals, but not all minerals are ores. Manganese are often found in open pits. So, surface mining is used by removing the layers of the earth, overlying the manganese with large mining excavators. This leaves large open holes slash pits, where valuable rock, in this case, the manganese, is exposed. After they are extracted, they are transported to storage where they will be kept until needed. When they are needed, the ore will be mixed with other metals to create manganese alloy to be used by customers. The mixture is smelted, impurities are removed from the molten metal, and metal is cast into molds. After that, the casted metal is brought back to the product yard to cool, and then crushed into various sizes and shapes to be sent to the customers to be used in manufacturing such as glass and steel production. The steel will be used to build appliances, vehicles, buildings, and much more. Manganese is commonly used to deoxidize steel for steel production, make important metal alloys used in dry cell batteries, and decolorize glass. Because of the size of today's steel industry, manganese is one of the most important metals in the present. There are also some fun facts about manganese. 1. Manganese is in your soft drink cans to reduce corrosion. 2. Manganese is used to make fungicides, which is to kill mushrooms. 3. As a reactive metal, it will start burning in contact with oxygen. 4. Manganese is an important trace element in all life on Earth and is important for photosynthesis. This means that there will be no oxygen on Earth without manganese. That is funny, considering the fact that manganese would take every chance it can to burn it in pure form. 5. Ancient Egyptians took advantage of manganese to color their glass. Environmental and Ethical Issues In 2012, a study was conducted on the effect of manganese mining on the environment. A ma- mining district in Mexico was studied, and soil types and plant types of the mining waste area and the native vegetation area were compared. It turns out that there was a slight nutrition deficiency in the soil types of the mining wastes, and that there were less fungi spores. However, this did not stop plants from growing in the wastes, and the magnesium did not reach toxic levels in that area. This study suggests that there are very little effects of magnesium mining on the environment, and that the current magnesium industry that size does not tax environmental growth too much. However, we should still be cautious when mining magnesium, as as it is ultimately negative to environment. So mining industries should be carrying out proper waste removal, site inspections, and replenish natural plants and soils to keep mining sustainable. Mining rehabilitation. Mining rehabilitation is the act of replenishing the environment after mining in the area to restore its ecosystem. 
Manganese mining uses the process of surface mining, and the process taken to restore a mining site is revegetation. During revegetation, the affected area of environment will be filled with soil and tree mulch, and natural fauna will be replanted in those areas. The tree mulch is used to reduce erosion in the area, and rocks are incorporated in revegetation, also to reduce erosion. Revegetation and rehabilitation are important in solving the environmental issues caused by mining, such as soil malnutrition and smaller plant diversity. With rehabilitation, the effects that were done by mining is erased and the mining is sustainable. Here are some examples of successfully rehabilitated mining sites. I hope you enjoyed my video and learned a thing or two about manganese. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.